All right, we are at another episode of When History Meets Math, and this is Valentine's Day version. Valentine's Day is celebrated every February 14th, and in the spirit of math, let's do 14 squared. What is 14 squared? 14 times 14 is 14 squared, which is 196. The legend of, of Valentine's Day, there's a few of them, but there's a couple of main ones I'll go over. The first one is, a legend is that Valentine was a priest who served in the 3rd century in Rome. At the time, Emperor Claudius II declared all soldiers needed to be single, which he thought made them better soldiers. Priest Valentine did not like this, and he rebelled. And he still proceeded to marry young couples in secret. After the emperor discovered this, Valentine was put to death. True or not? Well, um, legends are always a sprinkling of truth and a sprinkling of falsehood. Uh, but Empress Claudius II was a vicious emperor, and this would not be uncommon for him to do. So it's possible that somebody named Valentine that was a priest was put to death because of things he was doing. So it's possible. Let's do some math. What is 3 to the 4th power divided by 3 squared in the spirit of the 3rd century? Feel free to pause and solve this. 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 81. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So 81 divided by 9 equals 9. And there's a picture of the, the priest Valentine to the right there. Legend also has it that while Valentine was in jail, waiting for his execution, he befriended the jailer's daughter and they fell in love. Before his death, he sent her a letter and signed it. And you guessed it from your Valentine. True or not? I don't know. I, obviously, this would be a very difficult thing to prove. I, I will say this. If you look at Greek mythology, Roman mythology, this fits with the theme of it. The uh, uh, execution is going to take place and two jilted lovers um, are, are in love and one's going to be executed or both. You can look at Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it's true, but uh, probably uh, there's some truth to it, and probably it was a good story. In the spirit of math, solve the following. Number of letters in priest's name, number of syllables in priest's name, divided by the number of words he signed the note with squared. And make sure you follow your order of operations. And feel free to pause this and solve it. All right, the number of... Letters in the priest's name is nine. Number of syllables is three divided by nine. I got nine from the number of words he signed a note with, which was three. And then three squared is nine. Now I do nine times three is 27 divided by nine is three. All right. There's another legend about how Valentine became Valentine's Day. And that is, it was actually a St. Valentine of Turney, a bishop who Claudius II also put to death on February 14th, 270 AD. And in the spirit of math, let's find out how many years ago 270 AD was. Feel free to pause and solve it. 2025, which is when I'm making this video, minus 270 equals 1755 years ago, 1755. You may need to adjust this if you are seeing this video later. To the bottom right is a statue of St. Valentine of Turney, and this is in his hometown. So from my research of this, it, it seems like this is the where the legend of Valentine's Day came from, is from this saint. But it's not 100%. But again, you've got Claudius II who executed somebody. So again, Claudius II was a, a pretty mean guy, so this fits with what he would do. Now, how did Valentine's Day become the day of romance and love? This is extremely complicated and probably no one really knows. Um, I've collected some facts and some stories, and, and I'll try to summarize it to make it a little easy to understand. Legend has it that Valentine had a garden of roses, and when young couples fell in love, they would visit him in hopes of finding happiness. This lead 
This led later to Christian priests declaring February 14th a day of romance, and through the legend of Valentine, this day is known as Valentine's Day. So this is an extremely simplified version out there. If there are any history buffs, buffs reading this, uh, you probably got a lot of problems with this summary. Uh, I get it, but I need to summarize it for the ease of a math problem and just a general history. This is a very, very short summary of it. There's a lot more to this uh, about pagans and other things, festivals. But this is probably a pretty good, easy summary for people to understand very quickly. Now, for the math, here is an ad for a dozen roses to be delivered. Look on the bottom right, $62.99 for 2025 ad. About how much does each rose cost? You would do 60. I rounded 62.99 to 60 divided by 12, which would be about five bucks a rose. Uh, you could probably say 525 a rose to be a little more accurate because with tax and stuff, but uh, it's going to be about five bucks a rose. B, suppose you bought four dozen roses. How much would the total be? And be exact here. You would do four times 62.99, and that gives you 251.96. The birth city of Valentine. And this is, uh, to the right, a, a molded, I guess, bronze statue of the Valentine in his birth city. And this is the legend I talked about that was probably the most plausible why we have Valentine's Day. Valentine attorney was born in Turney and he is well loved to this day in the city. In 1644, he was named a patron saint. I want you to multiply all the digits of the date he was made a saint for our math. One times six times four times four equals 96. Cupid. Cupid's a popular, uh, I don't know if you call it person, god, whatever you want to call it in Valentine's Day. Legend has it that Cupid would shoot arrows into unsuspected people, which make them fall in love. In Greek mythology, he was a Greek god of love called Eris. In Greek mythology, his parents are not really known. The research I did had several possible parents, but nothing good that I could find that was that was 100%. In Roman mythology, though, it's a little more 100%. His parents are Venus, the goddess of love, and Mars, the god of war. So you can kind of see how the two fit together with him shooting arrows into people and make them fall in love. So that's kind of the, the myth of him. Suppose that one day Cupid went out on a shooting spree and shot some arrows. It turns out it was 18 less than he shot the year before. What expression represents this? Y minus 18. You could have chosen X minus 18 or W, whatever you feel comfortable with. Cards. Valentine's Day cards. Americans probably began exchanging handmade valentines in the early 1700s. In the 1840s, Esther A. Howland began selling the first mass-produced valentines in America. Howland, known as the mother of the valentine, made elaborate creations with real lace ribbons and colorful pictures known as scrap. Today, according to the Hallmark, an estimated 145 million Valentine's Day cards are sent each year, making Valentine's Day the second largest card sending holiday of the year. More cards are sent at Christmas. The current count for Christmas cards is 1.3 billion. I got all this information from the website that I have listed there. I just uh, did a straight copy and paste because I found that to be easiest. So the math part of it, what is the difference between the number of Christmas cards and the number of Valentine's Day cards? This is extremely tough. You got to get the zeros right. You got to know what million and billion are. You can pause here and solve it. 1.3 billion is written as 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 145 million, which is 145 and six zeros. And you subtract and you get 1 billion, 155 million. It's a big number. So there is the, the difference in the number of cards, quite a big difference.
And that is all we have for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something.